describing how water resources moves when, within a watershed or over the landscape, you know, I think you have to start back 100 years ago when people weren't really around that much. You know, uh, water used to recharge all in the aquifers back up in the Winter Haven area where I'm from. Recharge is the process by which it soaks in the ground and starts moving through the groundwater system. Almost 100% of that water used to percolate in the ground and soak in the aquifer and it used to flow to the lakes and it used to recharge and keep those systems healthy and clean. Watersheds also can be defined as those places where we live, work, and play. You know, that community by which we define ourselves and where we interact, especially from a water resource condition. Sheet flow is just a process by which water flows across the land. Uh, generally, it would be a relatively shallow kind of flow uh, across the land surface where the water fills up the system and starts gradually moving towards another water body, a river or stream, but at a very slow rate. The better we understand the water resource systems we have today and the interactions that happen between those water systems, the better decisions we'll make about water in the future. A hundred years ago, the watershed used to function differently than it does today. How do we go back and fix as much of that as possible while we're adding 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 people within the watershed? And I think there's answers to that if we're smart. Everyday citizens should at least have a general understanding about water. You know, water is such an important part of our everyday lives, but knowing where that water comes from, knows where it goes, you know, knowing how much water you're using and whether or not it's important or not, I think are really important things to understand. We tend to think of restoration as simply for the environmental purposes of it. I think we have to start thinking of restoration as being the best way to store and treat water. In our area, uh, we've decided to begin restoring those natural systems. We think that's the best investment of the public's dollars, not only from an environmental standpoint, but also just from a cost economic standpoint too. For the layperson, a watershed can be your backyard almost. And you could think of what you put on the ground as uh, a watershed. Here at Circle B Bar Preserve, we have um, this lovely wetland and water flows into the preserve from Banana Creek and it floods this area. We can call it a little sub-basin of the Peace River. And the water flows into here and it um, filters the water and through the marshes and the wetlands and the sediments. So that helps clean the water as it moves south to Charlotte Harbor. The geologic structure of this area, we have a layer cake system of sand, clay, and limestone. The infiltration of groundwater is a very slow process. Water flows easily through the upper sand aquifer, but it takes many, many years for water to eventually get down into the upper Florida aquifer, where we get most of our drinking water from. Water is not an everlasting resource, so we have to conserve our water and be mindful of how much we use. Visit the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program website 